What's up, guys? It's your boy, Mr. Bear, and today, as per as per usual, with the exciting moments, Talos. How you doing, man? What is up, man? All right, Liam, Mr. Bear. What do we got going on today for the Pokemon unboxing? So, guys, we're continuing with this beautiful Paldea collection, and we are going not just for the for, for the uh -huh, beautiful uh -huh. Quaxley, but we'll also later on down the line. Rep for the full Coco too. So, oh yes, we certainly will be starting off with Quaxley first, and then hopefully moving on to the next one for to kind of complete the uh, starter ups to the beginning of the Paldea collection that kind of r removes itself from the Sword and Shield series. So it's going to be interesting as to what other kind of designs that will come in through to the line. Um, yeah, there's absolutely lots and lots of surprises to come with these things, especially when it comes down to the uh, pin collections. As I, you, you guys know, I love oh, my yes. pin oh, collections. Oh yes. <laughs> All right. <clears throat> Obviously. Like, we, there's only a couple of packs here, so we'll definitely try to uh, um, savor the moment of this unboxing. So, I guess without further ado, let's unbox. You guys know the drill. Guys, press a like for a luck. All right, guys. So, as you guys can see, it comes with the initial starter ones. We did the Sprigatio one already from the series. So, it comes with the three basic ones, which we may be lucky and find that's got better centering in this set. We never know. We never know. Bears over there in the background looking all cute. I want attention, Daddy. <laughs> I want attention. <laughs> He's just. It's like, okay, okay, you've noticed me now. I'm shy. <laughs> That's I'm camera true, right? shy. just walked away. <laughs> Where's Bash? Ba Bash, where are you? <laughs> it's like in the back somewhere. <laughs> <laughs> just doing what good dogs do, just chilling, being cool like the dog. All right, guys, so we have here the beautiful. Now, we have opened uh, these, uh, these ones before so we'll give a little a quick overlook of uh, the actual cards that come with it right quick and then three orders of garlic chicken and then three orders of white rice and then three orders of uh, wonton soup and then I refuse to play your food mind games no I have then and then <laughs> this absolutely beautiful big shack card <laughs> Oh yes, part of one of my favorites to be collecting. Look at that guys, look at that guys. We got ourselves a stunning Quaxley a pin. So we have four packs spectacular. Two Silver Tempest packs, one and two Brilliant Star packs on the edge. I'll roll into some of the packs. So which pack, which is the first pack? You want open Liam. I'm really feeling the the far left brilliant stars. Some of the high value pulls from here is the Charizard V Alternative Full Art at $167.20. A beautiful card. Uh, next being the Charizard V Star Secret Rare at $77. Uh, when it comes to the Trainer Gallery, uh, the high value there is the Umbreon V Star at $25 and the Sylveon V Max at uh, 17 oh sorry 19 dollars so great great card there we go all right so one two three four all right so we have fire okay we have friends in galar team yell cheer a beautiful Sinisuku, Sinisuku, Spirit, Spirit Bomb. bomb. We, yeah, we got a Burmy, Burmy Burmy, a Impidimp, and then we got a classic design Staryu. Very nice. A Royalu, a Reverse Hollow Bidoof, and a normal non Hollow oh. Wardram. No worries, okay. Though. Not too bad. We still Not got more bad. packs to go. <laughs> we do, we do, and uh, the video quality is certainly feeling. We're feeling it. We're certainly feeling it now, guys. So we'll go for the other brilliant stars. There we go. One, two, three, four. All right, guys. So we have fire. 
I love gold. <laughs> right, and we have Fibrara. Interesting. We got a Starveria. Got a Morferno. Love it. Shroomish. We have a Perlin. Very, very nice. A Doskill. Very classic psychic. Sneasel. We have a Cropish. Very nice. We have a reverse hollow Moltres, guys. Ooh, what's behind Moltres? A normal Manaphy. <laughs> so, not, not so brilliant today. Not so brilliant today. What? All right. In terms of Silver Tempest, the high value there, we have the Lugia V that still leads us, the alternative full art, at $188.94, with the uh, unknown V, alternative full art, being at $39.80. For the Trainer Gallery, we got uh, $42.11 for the uh, Rayquaza VMAX. And the Friends in Gala Ultra Rare being at $19. Ooh. Okay guys, so we, uh, we've got some really valuable cards in that set that are still very attractive today. Still very attractive. So let's Silver Tempest this. Right, I'm going to blur out that code and post it. But... There you go guys, there's a code, and it's gone. <laughs> One, two, three, four, right. So we have Fighting. We have Dijun, the Psychic Mouse. We have, uh, we have Quadstone. More Pekko looking awesome and beautiful, very angry. A Swabble, classic. A Murkrow, gorgeous. We have a Litten. Let's hope this next pulls will be Litten as well. A uh, Petalil, Clink, a Reverse Hollow Marine, and behind that one, we have a normal uh, oh, Dipox. We are not getting anything today, yeah. guys. Last pack. So, so well, there's another way that this will make it make up for it if we pull the Lugia V. <laughs> and no more code, it's gone. Out the screen. <laughs> One, two, three, four. All right, guys. So we have water energy. We've got Lopani. No puns intended. We've got Quadstone. <laughs> Regenerative Energy, Ralts, you've got a Durant, Meditite, Immogla, love the mouse, uh, Return of Mokro, Reverse Hollow Kuroko Roko, and a Ho Ho V. v. Not Ooh. quite Lugia V, but Ho Ho V indeed. 140. All right, 140. The full art Ho Ho V. It's a respectable $1.52. So we did finish kind of strong, kind of strong with the Ho Ho V. That kind of like almost like hints at a Lugia V down the road. So hopefully we get some more Civil Tempest for you guys to pull. What else is coming down in the world of Pokemon? We have more of the Crown Zenith collection. The Crown Zenith Pokemon Wow, special. that's a lot of packs. And then look at that giant, giant Pikachu VMAX right there. Another Shack card to the collection. And also, guys, not to forget that we have the Fukoko base Paldea collection. So we still have one more Paldea pin from the brand new set that's just released. And of course, that is our starter Pokemon as well in the Scarlet series that we're playing in our gaming channel. We get zero views. And speaking of Scarlet and Violet, the base sets are coming out for the Pokemon TCG. Uh, I, I'm not sure the exact release date. I want to say it's like March or maybe April, um, but we'll definitely have that um, annotated right here with some text on that release date. But um, from that, from the Yu-Gi-Oh side of the house, we have quite a few boxes for there. We still have the Darkwing Blast to go through. Uh, from last year's pull and of course the one the big one is happening in july and that is of course when liam is here in las vegas we're going to be doing the legend of blue eyes white dragon the metal raiders the spell rulers and like 
all kinds of the originals, I think the original five sets that came out in the Yu-Gi-Oh! side of the house. So I'm very, very excited for that. And of course, hope you guys are as well. But yeah, guys, hope you guys enjoyed this. Definitely press a like and subscribe. But that's pretty much all we got. My name is Talos. That mob friend is Mr. Bear. And we'll definitely see you next time. Peace. Peace.